Good day, ladies and gents. And the topic of today is gonna be cheats, cheaters, carry services, and RMT. I know this is not the happiest topic to discuss. I also know BSG is not a favor in favor of discussing this topic for obvious reasons. But I just had to do this video because I got something yesterday and it was just it, it crossed the line for me. So the thing which I've seen yesterday and I also got tagged on Twitter. YouTube, well, not YouTube directly, but some websites are buying ads for YouTube for Tarkov boosts, carry services, and I've seen a couple of those ads on other YouTube channels, and I got tagged on Twitter with uh, people seeing those ads on my channel. We as YouTubers sadly can't choose which kind of ads are being played on our videos, so there is no way for us to, to disable or ban those ads. The thing which you can do, if you see an ad like this, Tarkov boosts, Tarkov carry services, whatever, uh, just report it. Um, and yeah, so let's talk about the ad first. People might think that there is nothing wrong with uh, buying the carry servers or buying the items. Um, and that indirectly leads to a higher cheating problem. Because most of the people that do carry services and sell items, like 80-90% of them are cheating. So if you buy items from those websites or you buy services to help you finish the quest, even though it might seem harmless, you're actually sponsoring cheaters. So if you if you do this, um, and the next time you get killed by a floating cheater, you should know that you are the reason this is happening. So please don't do this. That's the first thing. Secondly, um, I confirmed with BSG. BSG are also banning not just cheaters, but they're also banning uh, people that play with cheaters in lobbies. Um, so you will get banned eventually. Also, RMT is against Tarkov's TOS. Uh, selling and buying items will also result in a ban, so don't do this. Bad, bad, bad. Alright, let's move from the ad to the actual cheating problem for a moment. There are typically two types of cheaters in the game. First type are the people that make money doing carries and RMTing, that's their uh, livelihood, that's how they uh, pay their bills and uh, put the food on their table. And the second type of cheaters, the, the cheaters that do it for, for fun, to annoy players, to, to, to feel better. Uh, to troll, I don't know, so yeah. Um, and if people weren't buying Tarkov boosts, if people weren't doing RMT, there would be less cheaters of the first category. Um, and I guess there is not much we can do with the second uh, with the second type of cheaters. In any case, the whole cheating situation been pretty bad for the past few wipes in the beginning of the wipes, because that's the moment when most of the cheaters are super active. And it hasn't been uh, any different this wipe. For the first few weeks and still, I'm meeting plenty of cheaters, especially on laps. I think I've played laps in total of around six, maybe seven times. And four out of six times I had rage, rage cheaters. Um, I'm probably going to be playing clips on the background now. So you can actually, you can actually see that. Um, and the other problem, problematic map for me was Lighthouse. Other than that, it wasn't too bad. I would also recommend if you can, if you can connect to central US servers, that's probably the safest spot against the cheaters because of uh, geographic reasons if you can connect to your uh, us central play on us central i'm pretty sure bsg is not happy with the current situation and i really hope there will be some new implementations uh by battle eye maybe maybe an anti-cheat update uh that would be <laughs> that would be really helpful at this moment um we we really need that anyway i don't want to talk about the cheaters too much i just wanted to point out the situation with youtube ads carry services and the whole cheating problem so if you see the ads, report them, um, don't do carry services, don't buy any items, you are sponsoring cheaters and you will get banned eventually. And thirdly, don't cheat, eventually you will get banned anyway, and you will ruin lots of players experience, which is which is not just about the players, it's it's very bad for the game overall, it's, it's unhealthy for the game, people are going to be quitting the game and they won't, like some of the people won't be coming back. And this is how the online of the game drops and the game becomes more stale, so yeah. I guess my little rant is over. If you have any thoughts, let me know down in the comment section. I, I will read it. I will respond to your questions and see what the general uh, feel of the community is like. Like, well, what do people feel about this whole situation nowadays? So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.